All right, so taking a look at some of the components that I used for my Hackintosh Pro, um, I went with the uh, EP45 DS3L Gigabyte motherboard, um, mainly for its compatibility. Uh, everything is working on it, and I really didn't have to go through much effort in order to get everything up and running. Um, and I can't say enough good things about the board. I'd definitely go with this board if, if you're considering uh, building one. Um, went with the Intel Core 2 Quad processor. It is a 2.66 gigahertz chip that um, you can use the Gigabyte motherboard to overclock. Mine is currently overclocked to 3.2 gigahertz. Um, the one terabyte SATA hard drive. You have to make sure that your um, your hard drive and your DVD drive is uh, based on SATA. Um, I also have a SATA based DVD ROM drive, which there's no box for. So uh, this is the NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GT graphics card. Um, also chosen for its compatibility. It's one gigabyte overclocked. Uh, Dynex, two gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to get more sticks in there as soon as I have the cache, but uh, I'm just starting off with two gigs right now. And uh, just a regular old USB keyboard. I already had a USB mouse, so that's taken care of in that respect. This is what the inside looks like. Uh, gigabyte board is actually a really nice looking board. Uh, here you can see the four DDR2 uh, VRD 11.1 inserts. Um, you're going to have to heat sink the Core 2 quad right on the board. It comes with a nice fan. So you're not going to have to go out of your way to find a third party fan. Uh, the graphics card is actually pretty large. A Radeon 9800 GT. Uh, you got your SATA ports down here, I'll give you six. And on the back you've got eight USB, so you're never going to run out of USB. This card outputs HD video. I've got it converting to VGA right now because I don't have my monitor with me. I've got um, a SATA card in there which is working perfectly too, right out of the box. So you shouldn't have any problem with um, I'm sorry, Ethernet, not SATA. Ethernet. So that's compatible. Um, I'm, I had to run a 500 watt uh, Antec power brick here in order to power uh, both this massive um, graphics card and also the processor. And of course the one terabyte Western Digital hard drive probably add more later but we're starting off with one terabyte as the main drive and we're recognizing the 3.2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 quad it's actually a 2.66 but it's overclocked and I'm very happy that it's being recognized as 3.2 uh, and also the 2 gigabytes of 800 megahertz RAM is being recognized this is OpenGL and I'm just using it to show you uh, the NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GT under the OpenGL engine and you can see the memory is at 1024 megabytes, 1 gig and that's an overclock should be running at 800 megahertz so I have sound, graphics, um, all the USB ports work, every port works um, Every program that I've tested works perfectly. 
Uh, this is iMovie. I rendered a video recently to make sure everything was uh, consistent on that, and it, it turned out fine. So I'm uh, really pleased with how the Mac Pro is going. Um, I think everyone should build a Hackintosh. HD video um, is the best I've ever seen on a computer. Um, mainly because of the processor. I'm pretty sure that the graphics card has a lot to do with it, but the Core 2 Quad at 3.2 GHz uh, really helps with HD video. I'm actually going to go try and uh, hook this up to an HD TV and see how um, high definition video looks on that. So, uh, we'll keep you updated.